Hi again, everybody, and welcome back to the Catherine Center at Mars Hill University. My name is Jimmy Knight, and we're continuing our uh, series of focusing on recent graduates that are doing exciting things and having exciting stories to tell uh, about their, uh, their adventures in the world of work. And tonight, I am pleased to be joined by Juanita Guzman, and she is a recent grad of the Masters of Management program at Mars Hill. And if you haven't heard of that before, look it up because it's a very interesting program. Uh, so welcome, Juanita, how are you? Hi, I'm great. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm fine. And thank you for being here. Thank you for being such a, a great sport and, and helping tell the story of Mars Hill through your experience. So um, let's start off with finding a little bit about you and um, tell us where you're from, what brought you to Mars Hill, and um, what led you to major in business, and we'll just start there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I am from Avery County, North Carolina. It's a very small town, so typically I just say I'm from Boone, <laughs> where App State oh. is. Uh, yeah, um, so I graduated um, from the master's program this past May in 2019. Yeah, 2019. <laughs> a whole year now. Wow. Um, and what really led me to Mars Hill is I really liked the atmosphere. Um, I liked that it was very small. Um, I wasn't really interested in going to, you know, a larger university. Um, I like the student to professor ratio at Mars Hill. I think that's very amazing. You know, the one on one that the students get at Mars Hill. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's what really attracted me to go there. And also, I was part of the Bonner Scholar Program at Mars Hill. And then I also played soccer um, from 2016 through 2019. Very good. Yeah, the Bonner's Program is something that a lot of people don't really know too much about, but it is a super strong program that makes uh, uh, community leaders. I mean, it's just really uh, quite a positive experience for everybody that I've, I've encountered who's been part of it. They do a great job in that. So, um, so you played soccer and who was your coach? Um, so I went in um, when my first year, it was Tom Gott, but later then came Jamie Newsom. Awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's really surprising, too, how many people come to Mars Hill for athletics, a very large mm -hmm. athlete community. And so um, let's talk about where you're working. Now, you have a really interesting story as of this week. This is really kind of cool because uh, uh, you were working at one place when I first contacted you about doing this <laughs> interview series, but now you've had kind of an interesting development this week. So uh, where were you this past week and where are you heading to this upcoming week? Right. Um, so this past week I was at RevGen. So I started working with RevGen um, in December of 2019. And how I came across RevGen, um, really I was job searching. Um, well, let me rewind a little bit. Um, so once graduating in May of last year, um, I decided to move back home and work at my family's restaurant. Um, so, you know, I had been doing that for quite some time um, throughout college. I also worked at a restaurant, you know, serving. Um, so I've been really into um, the restaurant industry, customer service. Um, so I, I really didn't have a set plan at, right after graduation. So I decided to move back home for a couple months and kind of figure things out. Um, so I was working there for about six months. And then, you know, I decided um, I would try to look elsewhere. I started feeling stuck. Um, I wanted to get out of my hometown, you know, um, like most people would. Um, so I came across um, RevGen through Indeed.com. Um, so I filled out an application, um, they contacted me, I went through the interview process, you know, which is typically a phone interview at first, um, and then I got called in for an interview. Um, I drove about four hours to Raleigh, North Carolina, um, did my interview then, and um, it was really exciting, you know, um, new place, I had never been there before, and um, so I just immediately fell in love, and you know, 
fingers crossed, hoping everything went well, which it did. Um, you know, about a week later, I got a phone call back saying, hey, can you start in two weeks? And I say, yeah, absolutely. And at the, this point in time, I didn't have anywhere to live, <laughs> oh. no plan. So I kind of just made a leap of faith, you know. Um, so it all ended up working out very well. But um, a little bit about RevGen. So it's designed to be um, a sales training program, which I never really saw myself in sales. Um, it was kind of outside of my comfort zone. However, you know, going back to the feeling stuck, um, I really wanted to do something different, um, experience something new, um, really develop myself as a person, you know, personal growth. Um, so, you know, I decided to go into sales, which it's not anything like I expected it to be. Um, you know, it's very challenging. I think people say um, the ratio in sales, I think it's 70% of people just don't make it. Um, the 10% are just naturals at it. And then the other 20% actually have to work you know, to be good at it um, and make it come naturally. So um, me specifically, I was part of more of that 20%. You know, I really had to work for it. <laughs> and gotcha. it really came naturally to me at first. But, you know, here I am. Um, and I'm excited to talk about my new role. Um, so I am now, sorry, I feel like I'm going in a lot of different directions here. No, you're doing um, great. <laughs> Please continue. So, so, um, the sales training program at RevGen, it's, the timeline is typically between four to six months. Um, however, I finished in seven. Um, so it took me a little bit longer, you know, going back to um, I wasn't really a natural at it. You know, I really had to work hard and learn a lot of different skills. Um, but however, here I am, a graduate of this sales program, um, which leads, leads me now to um, my current role, um, my first day that I start at Service Trade. It's a software company based out of Durham, North Carolina. I start Monday. Um, so once you graduate from this sales training program, um, it really opens so many doors. You know, um, tech sales in Raleigh, in Durham, it's booming and it's not going to stop. <laughs> right, so, right. Yeah. So this um, training program at RevGen really just opened so many doors for me. Um, I had multiple options, you know, to choose from. However, um, I narrowed it down to two different companies that I was really interested in. Um, and it was difficult. You know, I went through the interview process. Um, I interviewed maybe six times in one week. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, yes, it was a lot, but um, I'm extremely thankful to end up at Service Trade, um, which a little bit more about Service Trade. Um, it's exactly, you know, the what I was doing previously at RevGen. Um, however, now I have a ton more benefits than I did before. Mm -hmm. Um, it's really great and I'm very excited for, you know, my journey with them. Um, so yeah, any, any questions that you oh. have for me? Yeah, actually. I'm sure um, you have a lot. So <laughs> I just what, for, forever. <laughs> well, that, that's okay. Anybody who knows me will tell you that I, I'm, I am king of rambling. Um, <laughs> but no, you're doing great. So yes, what I want to do though is to ask you, you're, you're, you're obviously taken to the training that they've given you, you're, you're, you're doing really well. Is there anything, I want to talk about Mars, your Mars Hill experience first, and then go back to your interview preparations real, real quick. But first, was there anything in the master's of management program or your undergrad work when you were at Mars Hill that made this um, a bit more of a natural fit? Is there anything that you can think of that helped um, help sort of unlock the potential uh, for you to fit in with these organizations the way that you you have actually uh, you obviously have chemistry with this and mm -hmm. so is there anything that sort of prompted you 
hooked you in a certain way or helped guide you in a certain way that made this seem like, yeah, this, this could, this could be a thing for me. Absolutely. Um, so overall, you know, everything just helped me in general, but specifically I would say, um, you know, during the master's program, um, I had a couple different courses. Um, one of those would be professional communications. That helped me a ton because what I'm doing all day, every day is, um, you know, talking to people on the phones. Um, I'm emailing them. So just learning the proper etiquette, um, you know, how to professionally talk to people, how to respond to them via email. You know, I do that every single day. So, yes. you know, look looking back sitting in this class I'm like okay yeah I get it but no really, now I get it <laughs> yeah yeah when you finally get in the saddle and you have to use that as a means not just to get by in the day but to be part of a team people fail to realize a lot of times that answering that email is a team process it's not just good manners you're keeping the flow of communications going so Hallelujah. Thank you very much for saying that. That's awesome. I appreciate Absolutely. that. Yeah. And another one um, would be negotiation and persuasion, um, which I will see more of that come into place once I move up to my next role, which um, a little bit more about my role now. Um, I am a sales development rep. So the timeline to move up within the company is about four to six months in which then, um, you know, I master my skill, I master some more, um, just knowing more information really about the company in which I can move up to a closing role into an account executive position, um, in which I will really start to refer back to that negotiation and persuasion in which I can really start to use to close deals and, you know, move the sales cycle along. So that's really exciting. You know, looking back um, at the courses I took, it, I, re I really see that now. <laughs> awesome. That, that, and, and what I love about my job is I, I get to hear those stories, stories like yours, and I get to sort of see the culmination of, of all of these things coming together and having a big aha moment. Um, I, I really like that, and I, I love being able to go back to professors like uh, uh, Donna Parsons and, and, and folks like that to say, hey, Juanita got it. You know, <laughs> she, she's our favorite of the week. Um, <laughs> so, um, so let's talk about the interview processes that you just went through. What did you do to prepare for your interviews, and did anything um, – in addition to the fact that you had to go through six in a week, that's a hefty, hefty group of interviews there. Was there anything that surprised you that sort of was a curveball uh, that you didn't see coming and um, what, what that might be? So preparing for um, my interviews, you know, I heard this so many times during um, the master's program because we actually went through mock interviews, you know, to prepare for real life interviews, which I was extremely thankful for looking back. Um, but really just do your research about, um, you know, who you're interviewing with, um, whether it's um, the company and obviously the people you, who are interviewing you, um, just do your background research on them. Um, just make sure you know your information. Um, and also, specifically with how my interviews went um i have a i had a scorecard in which reflected um you know my metrics during my time in the sales training program so really just knowing my personal metrics um in areas i can specifically improve on and how i plan to improve um just really having all that nailed down and just really knowing your stuff um you know, you never want to go into an interview unprepared. So oh. just just do your research is what I can really say. I, I've been there, and I can tell you that um, it, it is the most uncomfortable feeling in the world when you go into an interview and you sit there kind of going, ah, I got it. 
Trust me, you don't want that. So that's really, really good advice. Um, so in, in sort of wrapping this up, speaking of advice, let's play a little game just for a second. And I want you, the current version of you, to think back to the 17, 18 year old version of you that has just started Mars Hill. Okay, it's move in day and it's freshman orientation. Oh gosh. <laughs> no pressure. So, <laughs> what would this version of Juanita like to tell the previous version in terms of advice for school, using school to prepare for the rest of things? What what would you what would you tell yourself? What is it that you wish that you know knew then that you know now? Um, there's so many things I could say, but really just I feel like I'm going to sound like a mom and dad right now, but just don't take it for granted. Um, <laughs> you, know, you have this wonderful opportunity to further your education and just really take the time to soak it all in. And there's so much potential for yourself and personal growth and development that you have no idea that you will go through. Um, for example, me, starting this sales training program, I was actually, you know, looking back to my first week um, and listening to some calls I've made, um, emails I sent out. And, you know, me now, it's a completely different person. Um, I've just grown so much. And it's just crazy to think that it happened in just a couple months. So four years, five years, there's so much personal growth that, you know, you will go through and just don't give up, just stick with it. And you will be so happy that, you know, you followed through and no regrets whatsoever. <laughs> That's sound advice. I tell, tell people all the time, school is what you make it. Mars Hill is what you make it. If you, if you grab it, put it in a headlock and make it yours, you'll get an awful lot out of it. So um, I, I got to say that thank you so much for taking the time tonight to talk to me and, and, and help out with this video interviewing project that I've got going on. But more than anything, I just want to say just how proud we are of you. Um, I want you to keep in touch and uh, let us know everything that's going on, okay? Because it's, it's really cool to hear everybody's stories and we want that to be um, part of the Mars Hill legacy, part of the Mars Hill community that we stay in touch with each other an awful lot more. So I'm going to ask you to stick around just uh, for a second as I stop the recording and everything, but thank you. Thank you so much for sharing with me. Absolutely, and thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm very thankful for it, and I'm really glad, you know, others can hear my story, and please reach out to me, um, any, you know, grads, um, whether you're a freshman or a senior about to graduate, please reach out to me. Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn and just ask me any questions. I'm an open book and I'm fully transparent. So uh, you're I'm hired. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you again. And uh, we'll just say good night. Thank you. <laughs> good night. Bye.